couples to do shopping for Christmas, among other places for the celebrations. We are also aware that uh, heavy traffic is usually experienced along our highway during this period. We wish to ensure that the public, that the National Police Service has made adequate arrangement to enhance the security and safety throughout the country. Police officers have been deployed adequately throughout the country. All security multi agencies are involved in this period uh, of festivity uh, in the security operations. The National Police Service therefore calls upon members of the public to cooperate with the security officers and share information with the security agencies to ensure a secure and peaceful environment throughout the festive season. In a bid to fulfill our mandate at National Police Service of providing security and public safety, we wish to draw the attention of the public to the following matters of security and safety concern. We have made remarkable success in the fight against violent extremists, radicalization, and terrorism. However, the threat still remains. We must therefore be conscious of our respective surroundings and report any suspicious or unusual activities to police or any other police security agency for action. Management of worship places should continue liaising with officers commanding police stations within their jurisdictions for security services, while public <coughs> service transport should enhance screening of all passengers and luggage as they have done before. Overloading and speeding for both PSV and private vehicles shall not be tolerated. According to the Meteorological Department weather forecast, the current heavy rains is expected to continue in most of the remaining days of the year. This will continue posing a number of challenges as floods revenge parts of the country, especially low-laying areas, as rivers and streams burst their banks. Members of the public and motorists are advised against crossing swollen rivers and instead patiently wait for the floods to recede before crossing. Equally, families living on steep slopes that are susceptible to landslides and mud flows are advised to move to safer places. Motorists and other travelers should also exercise cautions on all our roads. The police and the National Transport and Safety Authority, that is the NTSA, have been instructed to deal firmly with those found floating traffic regulations. Motorists should remain sober, avoid drunk driving, and over speeding to guard against causing accidents. Residents of areas prone to cattle rustling should be on a high alert. Work closely with the police reservists and promptly report any incidents to anti-stock theft unit and other specialized units, including rapid deploy deployment unit, border patrol unit, or to the nearest police station or any security agency within their reach. Further to avoid housebreaking, those intending to travel up country or holiday destination should not leave their houses unattended, but instead make security arrangements around or within their premises. In case of need, police have uh, identified and uh, given out uh, the toll numbers. Please call our 24-hour services toll-free numbers. That is 999. 911 or 211 for any assistance. Finally, on behalf of National Police Service, I do wish all Kenyans and our visitors a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year of 2020. But before I end, I'll also like to warn passengers during this season and even after. Any excess in any PSV vehicles with effect from today will deal with the passenger 
as individuals. If you are found in our roadblocks as an excess passenger in a matatu or any PSV vehicle, will remove you out of that vehicle. Does not matter at what point, and the vehicle will continue with those who are seated. Responsibility goes to the passenger. I'm giving this instruction from now, all the police officers manning the traffic to take action immediately. So I'm warning to all the passengers to be careful, never blame the conductor or the matatu operators that they pushed you into the matatu. It is you to know if you have a place to, to go in, to sit in that matatu. So for us to cooperate, let us observe these regulations and uh, I'm sure my colleague NTSA will give you, you more details. Any of a speeding vehicle, regardless PSV or private vehicle will also take action. If it is a company, <coughs> uh, a PSV vehicle or the whole company will suspend the licenses. We have started and we want cooperation from our road users. Thank you. For that. at this point, I will invite <coughs> DG to make also a statement. Karibu. Thank you, Bona. Okay. I will just continue from where he has started with the wishes of the festive season. And we have worked very closely with the Inspector General for the last couple of days in implementing and enforcing all the regulations that are set forth by the Republic of Kenya. In my statement, um, I will touch on a few areas and go directly to where the safety areas will address to the people of the Republic of Kenya. The heavy rains have caused dangerous conditions on our roads, and especially off the major highways. We have seen vehicles crossing swollen rivers, and the passengers encouraging, and the people of the public encouraging them. These will have to stop with immediate effect. We will be dealing directly with the circles and working closely with the Inspector General to ensure that the safety of our passengers shall be enforced going forward. We note to date, as of 17th December, we have had a 13.4% increment in the loss of uh, lives on our roads in the Republic of Kenya. This is an unacceptable trend, and we shall work very hard with the Inspector General to ensure we reverse this trend, to ensure that our numbers uh, of our people on the road are uh, go a bit lower. In addition to that, out of the 13.4, of great concern are vulnerable road users. Pedestrians. 38% of the. Picha za moja kwa moja mtazamaji kusiana na.